Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 5th of 2024 is titled Trapezium at the heart of Orion. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the central portion of the Orion Nebula. And those very four stars at the center are what is known as the trapezium. Now, this is a very small, compact region. It is about one and a half light years in radius. Now, what does that mean for comparison? Well, our sun's nearest companion is over four light years away. So here we have several very bright stars within just a, a couple of light years of each other. So if we lived here instead of where we do, you would see extremely bright stars in the sky, much, much brighter than any star we see in our own sky. Now, of course, there would be other difficulties with living here. These are extremely young, hot stars, and they emit a lot of ultraviolet radiation. How much? Well, enough to energize this entire cloud and cause it to glow. And it's really just that brightest star that is emitting most of the ultraviolet light that energizes the entire nebula. So the other ones do emit some ultraviolet light, but that one most massive star is the one that is doing most of the work and emitting most of the ultraviolet radiation that really causes the entire thing to glow. Now we see these stars at the center and actually considering and looking at their motions, we've determined that there is likely a black hole present here as well. Now, how can we tell that you cannot see a black hole directly? However, you can observe its gravitational effects on other stars. So when the motions of the stars are not what you would expect, just based on the stars that you see, you can infer that there has to be a large mass of some kind that is not visible in order to explain the motions. So these stars are moving in ways that we don't generally expect. So that may mean that perhaps there was a collision early on and that may have formed a black hole maybe 100 times the mass of our own sun. Now interestingly enough if there is a black hole in this cluster then this would be really one of the closest known black holes to our own planet. Now, does it mean there couldn't be others? Black holes are very difficult to detect unless they are near other objects where we can detect them through their gravitational effects or if they happen to pass in front of something else and we can see gravitational lensing effects. In general, if just a lone black hole sitting someplace well off in the distance, a couple of light years from Earth would essentially be invisible to us. Unless there is something nearby that is that is allowing material to transfer to the black hole. That's one way we can see them if they are accreting material or through their gravitational effects. So if it's just sitting there all by itself, we would really have no way of knowing that it is out there. So that was our picture of the day for January 5th of 2024. It was titled Trapezium at the Heart of Orion. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.